And we back like bra straps is Vach Lombardi. We're going to take a real quick look at Hakeem Butler today. Promise I won't hold y'all too long. Just wanted to uh, just touch on a handful of his traits, uh, a few things that I liked. And uh, let's uh, let's hop into the film. We got Kansas and Oklahoma today. Um, he's going to be the wide receiver down here. He's a uh, wide receiver, Iowa State. Let's take a look at him, man. Um, he has a lot of, and please let me be careful, man, because a lot of people like to over exaggerate what you say when you say it. He has a lot of Randy Moss traits. Now, am I saying he's Randy Moss? No, I'm not saying he's a Hall of Fame guy. I don't know. I ain't saying all that. I'm just saying a lot of shit that Randy used to do. He 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 does a lot of that. You know what I mean? Like the long stride, the the post up stuff, the jumping over you, the ball tracking. Is he as fast as Randy? No. Is he as quick? Nah. Um he you know, he's he he's not as physically gifted as Randy is, but there are some some shades of him. We'll cross that road in a minute. Um now he's a he's a big receiver, right? Six seven or so. Combine nerves help me out. Um, give me his give me his 40 time too. Right. Now as a runner, like he's not like super fast, but what he does is he has this rolling speed to where his long his long stride covers a lot of ground. I wouldn't even call him fast, but he but like I said, he uh he uh covers a lot of grass. Look at how slow he comes out of here, right? Um, but that shit's gonna build up. And I understand this is Kansas, but Kansas can run too. Um <laughs> but once he gets rolling, you know what I mean. He uh, he he can he can absolutely beat you in a foot race. He won't beat you in the the five or the ten, but um, anywhere between forty and eighty yards, he's he's pretty damn fast there, and that's why he has a lot of big plays behind him. Um, is he a nuanced route runner? Uh, no, nah, not really. But he can kind of run routes for a big guy. Um, we didn't see much of it here, but we'll see it every now and then. Sometimes he'll set things up creatively, but I wouldn't really expect him to explode out of a route. So if you look at how offenses are run nowadays, one of the most important parts of, of having receivers on your team is knowing their usages. Um, you know, like a lot of guys are going to come out with this three receiver set, four receiver set, and all those receivers may have different traits that you use differently, right? And you pretty much got to know how to use Hakeem Butler. Um, he's a big, long ball track he got, right? So can you use him in these deep these deep go get the ball scenarios absolutely because he tracks the ball well plus he has that length and body build that that longness to be able to find the ball and pluck it away from wherever the hell you at and that gives him a lot of big playability let's take a look at him on the uh, cartel view it's even more impressive on the damn cartel view is going to be on the right side of the screen here and that's just a mismatch. <laughs> that's that's really a mismatch, right? If you get you if you get you a quarterback that can play um, high point game, ball placement game, like just imagine six seven. Then his leaping ability, combine nerves. Like I said, give me that vertical, give me that height. You just, that's a mismatch for anybody in the league, man. And the league is going to transition into bigger, taller corners that can run. But, man, if you line Hakeem Butler up in the slot like so, <laughs> just anywhere inside, and then expect him to some some 5'10", 5'11", guy to cover him, good luck to you. And that makes him even more dangerous in the red zone. I love this. Look at this down here. Take a look at Hakeem down bottom. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Snap. Boy, I love a blocker, boy. I love me a Perfect. good old blocker, man. Look, if you're going to be a big receiver, like, be big all the time. Don't just be big in the red zone. Don't just be big when you get in the ball. Be big all the damn time. Got this little bubble here, and I came just going to just gonna block my mans into oblivion. Hey, man, look, if I got to save Earth Realm, dog, I'm calling Luke Kane. I'm calling Johnny Cage, and I'm making Hakeem Butler block one of these DBs up out here, dog. We can't take no more losses in Earth Realm, dog. Look at this. <laughs> Look at him. So like I was saying, if you're going to be big, be big all the damn time. Be big prior to catching the ball. Be big catching the ball. Then be big being yak guy. It's kind of blurry right there, but we're going to go straight to the cartel view. Yeah, the cartel view clears it up real nice. Take a look at Hakeem right here. Catching the ball, shrugging this guy off of me. Get your bitch ass off of me, right? And he's going to proceed to go be... Yeah. 
and he's gonna proceed to go be yak guy, man. You, you know, you, I, I like wide receivers with size, man. And I know I get on my little soapbox about I don't care how big you are. I want nuanced route runners. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I prefer shifty route runner guys that can get open um, with creativity. But man, I always think there's a place for just size and just athleticism, man. I always think that. Rumble, young man, rumble, man. You know, Hakeem probably won't make it to my team. My team probably ain't in the market for drafting wide receivers early anyway. But, man, whoever gets Hakeem Butler, man, they're going to get somebody that, that can give you a lot of usages um, in a lot of different places, and you're going to get a tough yak guy. What I mean by usages, um, I mean good luck trying to cover this dude in the red zone. Um, if you're a team that likes to run the football in the red zone or whatnot, teams can't really stack the box on you too, too much because, I mean, we're going to put one guy on Hakeem Butler in the back corner of the end zone by him damn, by him damn self I mean good luck to you um, I think all that's going to kind of factor into his his usages you know uh, um, catching high passes over the, over the middle of the field if you have a quarterback that's not so accurate um I mean, say you're the Ravens or something, and you have and you have Lamar Jackson, right? And he may not be as refined as a passer. Uh, you can get the ball to Hakeem Butler, and shit, Lamar can throw that bitch anywhere, and Hakeem can just uh, can just uh, make an adjustment, track the ball, and go catch it because he has such a catch radius. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing on my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Wolski. Salute. And it seems like he all, like, man, look, even when he's catching the ball, this is him down bottom, right? Even he can catch the ball with somebody draped over him just consistently, right? And to be fair, pause. This could just be Big 12 tackling, man. It could be that. I want to be fair and say that. But it seems like when he when he catches the ball contested, even when 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 guys are on him, you know what I'm saying? And this ain't really a highlight tape. You know what I mean? Like he may he may walk out of a game with like five catches. Two of those catches would be slants, you know, one would be, you know, like a dig or something, and the other two would be touchdowns. You know what I mean? Like he'll walk out of a game. With 50% of his catches going to the end zone. You know what I mean? Take a look at him catching the ball over this guy here. Good luck to you. <laughs> Good luck to you. Listen, man, I didn't want to hold y'all all day, man. I just wanted to make my case for Hakeem Butler. Didn't even want to make a case for him. I just wanted to show you a few things that I liked about him. Good luck to you. I just wanted to um, show a show a handful of things that I like about him. Super catch radius guy. Rolling speed takes a little bit to get going. Um, I definitely think he's going to be like a red zone weapon. Um, I've been hearing people saying 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 foolish stuff like put him at tight end. Nah, nah. Leave my wide receiver and let him fly. And then get you a big tight end so you can just have big receivers across the board. Um, ravenous blocker, high effort guy, super yak guy. Uh, good luck getting me down. Great ball tracking in the air, man. Salute to Hakeem Butler, man. Uh, with that being said, man, like the video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I drop random ass videos in the middle of the week just like this. Join my join my Patreon, join my Discord, join my Patreon only Discord if you're in the Patreon already. Um, we do t-shirt giveaways at the end of the month, so um, be tuned in for that. With that being said, y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski, the Peace Whiskey is free. Salute.